Hello, welcome in. This is Cleo Ra and this is my little Loot Lounge tarot station that I created to help guide people into their sovereignty, their royalty and into creating anything they want through the beautiful power of their mind and their heart. So it's good to have you here and um, it's great to be here. Also, if that appeals to you, why not hit all the buttons? I do like to do readings um, that are completely different energetically. So I do try and label my videos appropriately. I do know that some people love having tarot readers who do the same theme every time, but I do try and be as multi-dimensional as possible. That being said, I'm getting the energy of cosmic crowning coming through as I'm shuffling these cards. And um, this is going to be a very star-seeded reading, so we're going to dive into the cosmic airwaves and get sparkly. Okay, thank you to all the angels and higher beings who protect us in love and light and radiance. I invite you in for clear messages for my cherubima, for my initiates who may need to hear it. I welcome you in in love and thank you for your guidance. Okay, that one wanted to come out then. Okay, what do we need? What's the most important message for my allies? Okay, what was we saying? God, what am I getting like? What were we saying? Queen of Wands, Ace of Wands here, Cosmic Crowning. These are just so beautiful side by side. There could be something in my last reading for somebody because we've got that Four of Pentacles showing up. Show me your vortex, your personal spiritual vault. The, the place where the divine allies and your spirit guides hold all of the things you've wished for and dreamed for and asked for, you're allowing yourself to go there now. I'm getting this energy of you finally fully accept your majesty because it's one thing getting those first epiphanies where spirit shows us or, or lets us feel who we are. But then what we've got to do is wake up the next day or whatever and we've got to keep building our way until that vision manifests. We've got to almost keep convincing ourselves that we're magical because the earth is so testing. It's so physical, right? But everything's always moving. All of these cells are buzzing around us. You know, the wall knows when I'm looking at it and when I'm not looking at it because it only exists in my mind. So you're someone I'm getting self-created. You decided to make major moves from where you first were, maybe from the place you were born or those roots. You know, this is more about the vision you had of yourself, right? Or how you felt when you found yourself in the movie of your life originally. I'm getting that you took the video back to Blockbuster and you were like, you know what? I rewound it. You can have it back. I'm creating a whole new movie. I'm the leading role player of the game. And you accepted nothing but the best for yourself. And I'm getting that you've lifted yourself up. And now you see yourself differently. This reading for me, and I'm going to start my clock now for any numerical synchronicities. This reading for me is all about someone who chose the best for themselves and knew that if they held that vision, if you pinpointed it, if you stuck the tail on the donkey, that tail had to be where you left it, all right? Terrible, terrible metaphor. But you stuck to this and you did this and you created this. They're showing me a big old camcorder from the 80s. So I don't know why they keep giving me references to the 80s, to blockbuster videos and stuff like that. But they're telling me charming. There's something charming about you. And I feel like this is them comparing other eras, other themes, other kind of dreams that we've lived in, different aesthetics of life. You know, they're kind of comparing this to you would fit in in other eras. I don't know if the 70s means anything to you, but there's something. Maybe you're a good actor or, actor or actress because there's something about the way you channel energy and fitting in, but there's a grace with your energy. I feel like you can harmonize and blend to anything. So water signs could be quite significant. You could find that you're activating your fire signs more now and bringing it into a beautiful symposium. They're showing me a pyramid, a triangle. Yeah, we've got that valiant courage, bravery, passion, taking action with that inspired passion, full of that gorgeous, hot, beautiful energy that you now embody. You could be an Aries, uh, Leo or Sagittarius. You don't have to be. This could also be a North Node thing for somebody, right? Where you're really embracing the fact that however you view yourself, that's how the world will view you. And it really does work like that. Yeah, there's that water energy, rejuvenating rain, clear the past, heal the present. And I feel like you've done that right because there's something about you moving from one story to the other and spirit saying this takes huge amounts of bravery for some reason they want me to use that other deck spirit saying this takes huge amounts of bravery to completely hoist your whole mind and the whole character other people saw you as the slot right 
they just keep showing me like a movie uh, negative, you know, like a movie reel. And you ripped yourself off with one movie reel and created a whole new one, a blank tape. And you were brave enough to do this. Shedding all the emotional baggage, letting it go, letting go of things you can't change, maybe in family or whatever. But this is you giving yourself a chance, freeing yourself from something. Yet yeah, Ace of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, bringing your vision into the physical. There's nothing more important than us creating things that make us feel good and focusing on things that make us feel good. And you're bringing heaven on earth into your own reality, which is going to affect so much more. I mean, they're just showing me so many dominoes. Imagine like seven rows of dominoes in a circle and they're swirling and you're affecting so many things and getting so much back because you have anchored in your sovereignty. You've put your crown on. Ace of swords standing so powerfully in your truth. You know, we've got three upright, truthful phallic objects right this is upright this is getting it right that pyramid energy here page of swords energy okay you're telling me no look no looking back for some reason okay maybe someone's had old thoughts popping up spirit saying these are old thoughts from the old movie reel be dedicated with the hanged man because that's what the hanged man is switching things up from you know the old world mindset and submitting yourself to who you truly are right the hanged man's the only card in the deck that is naturally reversed. Because most of us start off on this planet being naturally reversed, not really knowing who we are. It depends, right? It just depends how we get conditioned. But you're someone who now knows who they are upright. This is the hanged man in the upright positioning. I do want to get more on this page of swords because I feel like it's quite interesting. No looking back. I feel like you're trying to attract in a completely different character, a completely different type of person than what you maybe found yourself on the cosmic stage with before. And your frequency is now tuned to something better. Yeah, five of swords energies here. You've had some battles, right? King of coins here with the queen of pentacles. You could have had to like be your own parent, cover all bases, be your own mother and father, be your own caregiver. Yeah, five of wands. Some of you could have grown up in... You know, situations where there was a lot of violence or aggression, battling, conflict, and you wanted to do different. You didn't want to be toxic. You wanted to lift yourself up out of that. There's wholesome energies here with the King and Queen of Pentacles. Something you used, right? That internal garden that you used. And now your plans are taking off. Show us what we need to know for this reading. This fuel here with the joy and delight is so powerful. So I feel like you're moving into something. Maybe you've just been promoted or this is coming. This is like a spiritual promotion that will show... In your physical reality, yeah, page of cups, an offer coming in that matches the frequency of who you now are allowing yourself smoothly to be. We've got the nine of swords coming out here and the seven of cups. Show me one more. Queen of coins. So we've got that solidity now. I'm getting someone who went through it, right? At the ground level and you had to believe in your own magic and you had to keep on conjuring that gorgeous etheric fairy energy over and over again telling yourself you matter we do have a child on this card and then a grown woman it kind of looks like baby to child to warrior right someone who can do anything and the queen of wands is the warrior uh the warrior queen is she's fired up she's fearless she's feisty and she knows if she points at one, she can get whatever she wants. But there's something about you having fixed yourself parentally, being your own parent. I feel like maybe you kind of learn how to be with yourself by being to yourself the way you are to children. Because maybe if you didn't have any decent parents, I mean, this isn't for everyone. But if you never got parented properly when you were small, you have to learn like, and you have to think, God, yeah, I didn't get treated right then because I know that because I could never do that to a child. And I, there's something about parenting with you, Queen of Coins twice, where you've been. They want you to know that you've reparented yourself perfectly well. And that's why you get the crown here. King of Swords energy. Ace of Swords, right. So you've seen the difference now between right and wrong, between heartless and heartful, okay? Because you could have been around quite cruel, blunt people. I'm getting this energy of bluntness here. Always trying to poke for some love. Always looking for love in the cracks of souls who simply don't have their heart chakra activated or have got settled into patterns in their life where... They just can't show it because they have to bunk it into their daily ritual. I feel like someone went through that when they were a kid. 
someone in your life was surviving. They seemed loveless, but they were just doing the only thing they could do. They felt like they were in a weakened position, no matter how authoritative they tried to appear. And this caused you, my love, great heartache. I'm getting great heartache with the Nine of Swords. Daggers in your heart, confusion, emotional confusion. I feel like you've cleared your heart chakra out now, which is going to rise up and clear your consciousness, rejuvenating rain. Because there's a, a battle you dealt with, a volume. They're showing me a book, like the old chapter of your life now, slamming shut. But you had a lot of thoughts coming up, a lot of stuff that you had to deal with, things you had to battle with, the old patterns of the mind. It's like every thought we think throughout our life, it creates a wallpaper in our mind. So you've gotten out of that now. You've gotten out of those energies that were like the wallpaper of your mind of the previous life. Now it's new decoration, new ideas, new thoughts. And the spinning energy could help somebody, right? If you do get old thoughts resurfacing, they're saying it's cool, it's no worries, you haven't lost all your magic. Just visualize above your head a spinning golden vortex, sweeping out the old thoughts, bringing in the new. Like a lovely martini glass, they're saying, above your head. Okay, show me what my beautiful crowned one needs to know. Okay, it's safe for you to fly now, they're saying. Wow, more wings, and they were bringing me to these wings now. And I feel like someone still might have bad days, right? Someone might have old thoughts creeping up, but they're saying your soul is regenerating. You found the great way of the spirit. You found the love. You found the key. And we've got this breezy energy here with this flag and, and this kind of wind moving all the energy, the circles of life coming in to lift you up and move you gently. Bump. I'm feeling a bump, you know, when a toddler goes bump on the floor. And this is what spirit's giving me for you. Bumping yourself into this throne so gracefully and lovely. I feel like your inner child went through it here. I really do. We've got the Ace of Swords twice. You cut through all the crap, you know. Cut through all the crap. And this is big movement forward now. I want to get rid of these cards simply because I feel like they do represent all the things you went through and the challenges you had placed upon your soul, right? Something attacked your inner child and I feel like you went through it quite hard. But now... I mean, this is a star seed reading, but you know, star seeds, we find it hard often to adjust to a planet that's so low frequency. And I feel like what this is all about now is this new pathway with the chariot, you finding the great way of the spirit and you finding the great way of the mind. And this is changing the video. They want you to picture a golden VHS tape because this is what you're moving into. They're saying, put it into the machine and your mind is the screen. And this is what you're now doing. Let's have a look. You can feel little baby dropping out right there. Okay. Poodle lion. You know, some of these are, are a bit dubious, right? Is that a poodle? Where are we? Poodle or a lion, I mean, does it matter? You've got the queen of wands energy and this is you strutting your stuff and this is you walking, carrying yourself really beautifully and, you know, really gorgeous. You could be buying yourself new shoes, new outfits, letting yourself know you are this new version of yourself. Volume two and it's all brand new. Okay. Keep getting this come out, okay? Along with that four of pentacles earlier, the quicker you allow yourself to be fully free of the old baggage, and I feel like you are, the quicker your vortex just takes you in. Your vortex is taking you in. They're saying be prepared to be moved by all the love, by all the abundance. It's gonna feel different if you've gone through those nine of swords energies. But you've changed the tape. Allow the love, absorb it, all the compliments, all the, I'm hearing mon chéri, right? Ah, oh, so beautiful the way they, they put that in there. All this gorgeous cacophony of energy. You could be going out for beautiful dinners, beautiful dinner part parties. I'm hearing cutlery chinking. You know, lovely conversations, champagne, beautiful company, refreshment in your new life. This is you reborn. Volume two. This is you, new, 2.0. Postcard energy, I love you. So I'm getting the name Cheryl coming through, okay, and Bob, all right? These are postcards from the ethers, but also I'm getting a promise. This is like when Harry Potter got his letter, right? You've got your letter. You are initiated now. You've been accepted. Turtle power coming out. So what you're going into is giving you this lovely sense of security. And as much as we've got all this inspired action, I feel like the more we relax, 
the brighter we become. So I feel like there's a lovely flow with you allowing yourself to relax into your new role here. More love coming in. Kid gloves right here, okay? So you're handling yourself beautifully. I feel like this is self-care. I feel like this is taking the time. There's something about the time here. Time being interpreted by the mind. And I feel like you could be someone who's moving out of PTSD and moving into joy and courage and delight. And it does take courage to do this. It really does. But there's that sunshine energy here. This is your new day. They're giving me Natasha Bedingfield, unwritten. The rest is still unwritten, okay? We've got the turtle. We do have the lizard here as well. Show me seven of swords. I feel like you're cutting your losses with the past. And flying out of it. Yeah, this is cutting your losses, okay? There's only so much time we can spend looking back. And every time we we look back, we stop our flow forward. We create resistance, right? So I feel like you've processed whatever you needed to process. And now it's about you being reborn. And I mean, look at this. Two little babies with their arms wide open, ready for the world to give them what it promised them before they got here, right? You're ready to live life again in the way that is natural and normal for that which we call the human. I call us the sapien, one made of the ape and the alien, because that's what I've concluded makes more sense. But I feel like you are taking on the fairy power, cosmic energy that you now know is true. Because I feel like you've gathered your data, right? You've had enough feedback from the universe. Tarot readers, elders. I'm getting Joe Dispenza. I'm getting beautiful tarot readers helping you. And now you know how to easily move out of any disappointments. You know that hermit mode is a blessing where you can mine and harvest all of your beautiful gems of the soul and find that beautiful inspiration loop. And now you are throned. Now you're moving forward. Two massive lots of love. You've learned how to look after yourself. Oh, I'm so thick sometimes with my ADHD. That parenting thing. You know, having ADHD, I can do a reading and they blend into all the other readings I've ever done. So I had to get told that by psychic. Uh, by psychic. I had to get told that by my spirit guides about the parental thing again, right? Love energy. You've handled yourself with such beautiful love that now more love is getting sent into you. Flying on the wings of love is what I'm getting here. Putting down the burdens and allowing yourself to be truly reborn. Sagittarius energy could be important. Ninth house energies. I'm getting that you are taking the ninth house energies and running with them. They're showing me you stepping onto the ninth house as if it's a water wheel and making the wheel move because spirituality was the stepping stone that got all of your energy anchored in. Your chakras are particularly bright and shiny and gorgeous. I can feel this. You could have recently used some sparkly or glittery nail polish, but there's something very etheric about your unique original juju. We've got the two of cups with the empress energy, okay? So the empress is even more comfortable throned, right? She's like more throned than the queen of wands even. This is reclining. This is luxury and blending so well with your higher self, which also attracts in all of the right connections. So if you're looking for love, you're certainly on the most beautiful frequency to find it with all this joy and delight. And the nine of pentacles here, you did this yourself, you parented yourself, you rebuilt yourself brick by brick, but you built yourself with golden bricks, right? No old, hmm, no old gray bricks for you. You're a golden one. They're giving me golden bunny, right? I forget that's even there. Justice. It's contracted for you to be this star player in the game. You are a star player in the game and you know that now. Okay, I will get more charms because <laughs> you've been laying in wait and I feel like now you could be revealing yourself, moving forward with some inspirational package. You could have like collected information. I'm getting that you realize where you belong in work for somebody out there. You realize where your heart was and how much of a difference you make where you are. And then we've got that nine of pentacles again here. Doubly throned, right? Empress energy, queen of wands energy. You rebuilt yourself so beautifully. That's what the nine of pentacles is all about. Being able to be born in any timeline, any place, any reality. And learn the rules of the game and flow naturally and beautifully into your right idea of yourself. And you are a magical one now. It has been decreed, just this energy. And uh, my little puppy, he wants to pop up, 
pop up to say hello. That's Nino there. Death card energy going through the portal to all the magic and joy and delight. Okay, it's inviting you in the new world here. And uh, let's pick some energies because I feel like someone out there, you need some energies regarding potentially PTSD, something like that. So let's have a look. What do you advise, spirit? Surrender here, the hanged man. Trust the universe in those moments. Visualize that beautiful martini glass coming to life, that beautiful golden whirlpool above your head. Anytime you ever feel those old flashbacks or whatever coming back, saying surrender, know you are surrounded by etheric beings at all times, and this is going to be a breeze for you, this transformation is going to be a breeze, and what did I say, six of wands, you're a born winner, and this is so gorgeous for you to move into, let's grab some of these star seed cards, and we'll see what our spirit has for us, getting crazy on the table, right, I feel like, you know, you escaped some sort of craziness, you could have stayed in the craziness, you could have stayed in the toxicity, but you escaped, and that's what makes you legendary, activated earth, power places, ley lines, trust where you're led, all right, because you've got that beautiful heart, that beautiful compass of a heart, and it's subtle, you know, and the world is distracting, but you've got a powerful pull into place. If anyone's looking for the right career, you're going to be guided. You're going to be shown where you need to be. They're showing me you finding something metal on the ground. It could look like some sort of key ring or trinket. Oh, I love it. Star ancestors, hidden secrets, lost wisdom. Look a little deeper. Beautiful. You did look a little deeper and you're going to be looking even deeper again. They're telling me. Oh, they're showing me a slide. This is a flow for you. But they're showing me it like a tomb that you're going into. I think they mean this is in the mind. Some energy that's going to sink in and start making loads of sense for you. Yeah, that's what they just showed me. You're falling down a tunnel, but like a slide. Like a water slide, but a tunnel going into a tomb. Jumping in. Andromedan energy. Adventure. Saying yes to change, saying yes to being royal, saying yes to being the best. They're watching, your ancestors are watching as you take this throne that you've activated on earth. You know, what Spirit's giving me is we come in here and we're throned when we're kids. We know how special we are, but then the world tries to act like we're not throned. We've got to take it back with courage and passion. No one owns us, we answer only to God. I tell the world who I am. They don't get to tell me who I am. And that's what you're moving into. You're showing the world who you are now. Putting down the old tape. Spirit, show me a tape that gets all chewed up. When the tape comes out of the VHS, you can't watch it anymore. It's done. It's over. Throw it away. In the bin. What do my chair be, mini? Cookbook. <laughs> and we've got that. Oh, it's getting harsh in here, okay? Mafioso. Cutting off the past so you can be successful in the future. Death to a soft heart. When it comes to the past, you use your soft heart to get to the future. Someone's energy just got into me then. Someone from another country other than England. Because you heard that accent change, okay? Greece, I'm getting someone's Greek auntie. I'm seeing a woman with like a shortish hair, shortish dark hair, wearing a cream jumper. She was stern, matriarch. She said, be as hard as I was, right? Cookbook. She could have spent a lot of time cooking. Someone's bullshit ancestor coming in here. Okay, unicorn energy. This is you being the star power for your ancestors. They're saying, go for it. Ignore the haters. Ignore the low down 3D minded ones. They're watching you because you're the kitty or you're the one with the magical yin round connection. Just like cats can see into different dimensions. You are the rose now. You are throned. Okay, so something you're moving into. Maybe you're going to be writing a book or something like that. But cookbook energy. This is your own personal book of book of shadows or your own personal book of alchemy your own personal book of creation and that that lady's here heavy saying worry only about your family worry only about your soul group the world is an illusion you are building for the divine realm jump into building your own personal heaven on earth for those who love you no one else matters okay wow no way no no damn way look at this are you kidding me I'm going to leave it there, guys. You will know if this message is for you. My table's never been so messy, but so glorious, okay? So this is good. I love this. Move into your victory. They're saying go for that job. You're, you're... <laughs> I'm getting this female ancestor saying go and get it, all right? They want you to be so tough. They're saying go and watch Scarface if you need to. Go and watch Sopranos. Go watch what you need to do. 
to be tough for your family. For someone out there, you are the throned one. Ignore the humans and you are being watched by the gods. You perform only for the gods. You loot the round for the gods. You focus your heart on what you chose to do before you came in here. They're coming through me really strong here. Because you're remembering who you are. Like you only came in here to loot the realm. To create something permanent backstage for your family. You remember this? They're saying. Right. They got to get off clear ass back now. They got to get off my back. Okay. I'm going to go. Okay. I love you guys. I hope this has helped. Mwah.